If you're lucky, you'll live to see a century pass by. That time is unique to you. And what you do with it, <laughs> well, that's entirely up to you. I've never been interested in stuff that's kind of like mainstream. I don't see the point in living a life that's been lived millions of times before. The way I see it, time is like the only true currency we have in this life. You're always spending it, whether you want to be or not. You can never save it, you can never get more of it. I just really want to try to spend my moments truly doing what's right to me and what, what makes me happy. For the past five years, I've been uh, living in my van, traveling around, and uh, I didn't always live like this. I, you know, I had a house and stuff and like chilled and did the normal thing. I was a skydiving instructor and all that. I just knew that to get to where I was wanting to go with this, it was gonna take a lot of time and effort and resources. And so I just kind of decided a few years ago to just step back and like move into the van full time, stop spending so much money on just existing, you know, just your comforts uh, cost so much money in life. It's ridiculously expensive to eat, sleep, and live inside of a, a room. So, uh, I just kind of said, screw it to all that stuff, and I'm just gonna spend my time and my money truly like working on what I want to do, and hopefully that'll uh, you know work out if I just you know fully immerse myself into it. So it's been five years. That's where I get the name like slums from. So I've been slumming it in my van for five years, trying to save my money so I can do the things I want to do instead of just using it to you know be inside at night or something. love base jumping because it's a minimalist sport like you don't have to have anything you just if you have your rig your gear like you can you can base jump every day and I've always loved that like the minimalism of it being able to just do it no matter what no matter it doesn't cost you any money there's no governing body there's nobody telling you what to do or if you can do it or not and I love that part of it base jumping kind of brings everything for me it's not really something that I can like pinpoint one specific thing but I've kind of built my entire life around base jumping and traveling and kind of the entire sport. I kind of stopped counting my skydives at around 9,000 and I have just over 1,000 base jumps. I've always loved riding dirt bikes, I've been the most consistent thing in my whole life, you know, growing up. And uh, honestly, I think it just really deeply stems down to it was one of the first things I fell in love with when I was young. So you just like, you know, your first love of anything is like super important and kind of sticks with you. And it's something that uh, has just always been there. I've always thought it was the coolest thing ever. I mean, dirt bikes just look rad. I mean, being in a full moto kit looks cooler than any other sport on the planet, I think. It's just so cool and you can do whatever you want with it. It's all up to you what you do, you know? And that's always just obsessed me.
I would say the biggest thing most people don't realize with the Moto Base is just how much work and process and preparation goes into it and actual thought. Like, I mean, I'm not just like finding something real quick and uh, all of a sudden like, oh, I'm just gonna boost this out into oblivion and see how it goes. You know what I mean? Like we, we really have a pretty good method of figuring out the, you know, what's a possible jump, what's doable and how we need to go about it. Like with gearing and the way you pack parachutes, you know, dictates opening speeds and stuff like that. Every moto base is its own unique kind of like stressor, I guess, and excitement. I definitely am like, a psychopath like passionate about this stuff but I think so much about all of it you know and I I try to make sure I have everything figured out going in and what needs to be done and how things need to be. The trickiest part about the whole rigging setup for Moto Base um, is probably all of it. <laughs> there's a lot involved and there's no one thing that's more important than the other and so you know making sure that each step of the way everything is completely like perfect every time is pretty critical for the success of Moto Base. So many things that people have no idea about and all the repairs because it's like yeah I do a jump and sometimes you know something will happen and my bike will get a little messed up but also there's the parachute damage and stuff like that that we have to deal with. I think people would be surprised at how much sewing I do and uh, the mathematics involved. I don't know trigonometry my girlfriend learned it too help me with this stuff because we use this trig equation all the time and I still don't know it or how it works, but I know we use it almost daily. And uh, I never thought I would need that in my life for literally to do something fun, but you do. My goals with everything is uh, really just to live a, a fun life and a, a unique experience that's like true to myself, uh, doing the things I want to do and want to have my own piece of property and my own place to ride. I want to build my own compound and uh, I want to just continue working on my passion projects.